Hey babes, we're jumping right into this video. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. As you guys can see really quickly, I'm just actually making the concoction to bleach the knots. This is a quick look at what the 5x5 closure looks like beforehand. And then of course, um, if you need a more detailed how to bleach knots video, I could definitely do that for you just so that you can kind of get the ratio right. But if you guys are pretty experienced with that, this is just a part of the process. It's just a step-by-step -step to what I do you to get my closures to look a lot more natural and uh yeah just kind of out of like that standard wig stage you guys know that sometimes the hairlines can be fairly thick sometimes they come pre-plugged but it's not really common that you'll get a um closure unit that's going to come with pre-plugged uh knots or bleached units so that is something maybe the companies want to take a look at when it comes to wigs these days but i just wanted to give you a quick look at what it is i do to take it from what you see on the left to what you see on the right and so i think that um not doing too too much is definitely going to be helpful you want to make sure that you kind of tweeze out in a diagonal motion starting behind the hairline and then go ahead and kind of pull out a little bit extra as you go closer to the front because you do not want to make this look bald at all and then of course because i did end up having to wash and condition the unit after bleaching the knots the hair is completely wet which gives me the opportunity to go ahead and actually mold everything down so you guys see i'm using my cream of nature mousse just to really sleek everything down and this will actually prevent you from having to use like a hot comb and then of course you guys know i have my hair already braided up i do have videos uh, to show you how to get a quick little braid down and kind of prep for your wigs and then this is just a quick look at the inside of the actual cap you guys can see they have a few combs some clips it is adjustable so if you need to kind of tighten this a little bit i definitely recommend doing that and the unit can actually be worn completely glueless you guys can see this is hd lace so it blends in really nicely and easy easily um and so to style we literally don't have to do much <laughs> i am going to show you a better way to kind of secure everything um i'm not really sure what made me want to kind of cut off the flaps in this i, I don't know I've, i don't usually do that but i did want to kind of get a better look at the hairline and then of course i went ahead and just cut off the lace just to really get a look at how this would uh, kind of sit on my head without actually attaching anything or applying any glue or any gotta be glue spray or just any adhesives and i did like the way it looks but i kind of wanted to take it up a step further so you guys know typically i like the baby hair look so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of add that uh to the style now i did notice that it did actually look really nice without it um now that i'm kind of looking back at this <laughs> but what's done is done so i did go ahead and take a little bit of gotta be goose spray um just right behind where the uh, quote-unquote baby hair is gonna be and then i applied that elastic band just to kind of hold everything down and in the meantime time i'm gonna go ahead and actually just do some really nice chunky and wavy um wand curls yeah so um this hair is definitely able to hold a curl i ended up wearing this unit for a little bit of time and i did not have to refresh the curls i was able to kind of just allow them to fall naturally and of course it's going to fall in a wave and depending on how quick and i guess how much you allow this curl to actually like kind of set up and allow it to cool off it does hold its shape a little bit longer i did not have to apply any additional like oils no sprays or anything like that and you guys can see the luster on this is absolutely beautiful and then of course um if you guys are wondering the wand curler um this is i believe a one and a half inch wand curl so if you're looking for something about this size and you don't actually have a wand curl itself you can definitely just use your barrel um curling rod and just wrap it around the entire thing you don't have to like get any fancy tools for this so don't feel pressure you guys are just gonna see me continue to go all throughout the hair and then of course once i'm done with all the curls i'll be back to kind of set the style
All right, guys, so now that we are done with that, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pull off the elastic band. I did go ahead and take the hot comb just to really make sure that everything was kind of laid down, especially in the front. Um, and then from here, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of trim off and create a little bit of shape to the hairs on the edges. And then I'm going to take my edge brush with a little bit of the Gotta Be Glue spray. And I actually sprayed that because I didn't want to spray it directly onto my forehead. Um, and I kind of wanted to keep the softer, softer curl look you can say and so i did go ahead and just apply a little bit of that taking some of my cream of nature argan oil spray just to add a little bit of sheen all throughout the hair and then of course once we have that smoothed in this is what the curls look like without being pulled apart but i am gonna go through with my fingers just to kind of maneuver things the way I want it to be. And then of course, if you want a larger wave, go ahead and just take your uh, paddle brush, um, which I find to be really, really helpful because you can see how uniform the curls are, especially if you continue to go in one direction the entire way. If you decide to go back and forth between the um, wand curls and curl in one direction and then against that same direction, you will get even prettier curls um, than this. So let me know if that's something you guys are gonna wanna see because of course there's different types of waves going on but yeah this one's just kind of soft and effortless and you guys can see um you can pull this apart make it bigger if you want to but i kind of wanted to keep its form and all right and then of course just finishing everything off with a little bit of hairspray just to get rid of some of the flyaways but nothing too too crazy um so definitely let me know what you guys think about this of course all the details will be posted down in my description box below you guys can see the hair almost looks jet black to be honest it's kind of giving mm, closer to like a 1b but it's definitely super dark and i did not have to color this at all so <laughs> let me know what you guys think about that it's super long on me i hope you guys can kind of see it against like my black roll but the curls are super lightweight bouncy blowy soft anywho i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave any comments or questions down below i love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you in my next video bye babies <laughs>